Hi class. So we have been learning about William Stieg a little bit. We've been reading some stories that he had wrote. So he wrote Sylvester and the Magic Pebble and Whistle. And I just want you to think about based on these books, what kind of person do you think William Stieg was? I'm going to read an article all about William Stieg. It's an article that is from um, the book called The Big Book of Picture Book Authors and Illustrators by James Preller. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. This is going to be all about William Stieg. William Stieg grew up in a creative household where artistic and musical pursuits were encouraged. As a child, he loved to read. Robinson Crusoe, Robin Hood, and Pinocchio were his, were his favorite books. Stieg began his career as a cartoonist. The year was 1930 and the United States was in the throes of the Great Depression. To help support his family, Stieg sold his first cartoon to the New York Magazine. Stieg found a job in advertising, but he says detested it. Fortunately, in 1967, fellow New Yorker cartoonist and children's author Robert Cross suggested that Stieg try his hand at writing children's books. Stieg jumped at the opportunity because he saw it as a way to leave advertising. His first book for children, CDB, was soon published. The new career had, and a new career had begun. Although William Stieg's illustrations have been widely praised, it is his way with words that readers seem to enjoy most. He uses all sorts of long, outrageous words, like like Canton Curris and recumbent, recumbent that are not usually found in picture books. He also uses made up words such as dramberadromed, can't even say it, dramberadromed, and gibracken, sibibble, de gray. <laughs> Don't know what it is. William Stieg respects the intelligence of kids. That's why he doesn't hesitate to insert long words in his stories. William Stieg's career in children's books almost didn't happen. He never intended to become an author and illustrator. He once said, if I had it my way, I'd have been a professional athlete, a sailor, a beachcomber, a painter, a gardener, a novelist, a banjo player, and a traveler. <laughs>